Hello, my name is Rachel and I am an Adult Services Librarian with Vaughn Public Libraries. I'm here to tell you today about a couple of apps that you can download to your phone to help improve your productivity while working from home. You don't need me to tell you that we are facing a unique and stressful time during the COVID-19 pandemic, along with the added stress of working from home and experiencing social isolation. During this time, during when our schedules have been so thoroughly disrupted, it is very easy for us to fall into unhealthy habits. Personally, I know that I need help doing more of what I want to do, like working from home and checking in on my loved ones, and less of checking the news every five minutes. With that in mind, this video will show you three apps that you can download to instantly help improve your productivity. The first is an app that will help you take notes and share them across platforms. The second is an app that will help you create and track help, um, healthy habits. And the third is an app that will help you turn off your phone and finally get to work. So the first app that I'm going to tell you about today is Evernote. Evernote is a note-taking app that allows you to create notes, add media attachments, share notes and notebooks across platforms and with other people. There are a lot of powerful functions that you should look into if you're interested. This will just be a very brief overview. Evernote is free and is available on iOS and Android. There are some other features that are only available to premium subscribers. To begin using Evernote, tap the big green plus sign to create a note. At the top, you can choose which notebook you will save your note in, letting you categorize notes based on themes and topics that you choose. I will be saving this note in the Productivity Presentation Notebook. Write down whatever notes you wish, giving your note a topic and contents. You can also take a picture, add a voice note, and add an attachment from the bottom. At the top, you can share your note with someone, or you can add a reminder. Hit done when you are done. You can access your notebooks by tapping what looks like a page icon from the bottom left. Once you've created multiple notes and notebooks, you might need more options to find your notes. From the home screen of Evernote, tap the magnifying glass at the bottom to search. The next app that I will be telling you about is called Habitify. Habitify is a habit tracker. At its simplest, you can enter habits that you want to be tracked and check it off when they've been completed. There are many more features that you may also find useful, including keeping track of streaks or when habits have been completed for several days in a row. Habitify is free and is available on iOS and Android. You can also log into your account on most web browsers so you can continue to keep track of your habits when you don't have your phone with you. If you enjoy Habitify, you can upgrade to the premium features for $8 a month or $55 a year. When you first download Habitify, you'll be prompted to create your first habit. Tap Create Your First Habit to do so. You can scroll through some of the suggested habits and use one of those, or come up with one of your own. Next, choose how often you would like to perform this habit and how long you would like to do it for. You can also choose to be sent reminders about this habit. When you're done, tap save to save. When you accomplish this habit, just check it off from the home screen. If you want to see your weekly progress, tap the progress button at the bottom. You'll see which habits you've completed this week and some other charts as well. The free version of Habitify allows you to track three habits. If you would like to track more, you'll need to upgrade to the premium version. The last app I'm going to mention today is called Forest. Have you ever been eating dinner with your family or watching a TV show but keep getting interrupted by your phone? Especially right now, the urge to check the news frequently can interfere with your ability to get stuff done. With Forest, you can lock your phone for a set period of time. While your phone is locked, it grows a digital tree. If you decide to use your phone while you're running the Forest app, your tree will wither and die. Your phone is still available to use in case of an emergency, but this app is a reminder that you had decided to put your phone down. This app is available on iOS and Android. On Android, it is free, but it costs $2.79 on iOS. I personally decided to subscribe to it and I've been making good use of it, but I'll show you what the app looks like and you can be the judge. When you first download Forest, you'll be given a quick tutorial on how to use it. However, I'm gonna go through the app, assuming that you haven't gone through that tutorial. You can adjust the amount of time that you want to lock your phone for by sliding the timer. I will be locking my phone for half an hour. 
One fun feature of Forest is that you can grow different kinds of trees by tapping on the plant button in the middle of the circle. The more you use Forest, the more coins you'll earn, which you can then redeem for different tree species. This is just an aesthetic choice. There isn't a functional difference between the trees. Once you're ready to plant your tree and put your phone away, tap the plant button. The app will start counting down to when you can start using your phone again. Enjoy being liberated from your phone. You can now lock your screen and the app will run in the background. If you need to use your phone, you can give up and your tree will wither and die. You can tap on the arrow on the top left hand corner to see your forest of trees and see how much you've been able to focus today.